Okay, hi. Sorry this video is uploaded so late. Um, Ms. Davis and I both had a leadership meeting to attend and we just got finished. Uh, I went ahead and I figured um, on this homework of tax tips and sales, and take note of these um, kind of reminders, um, I thought that maybe number five was the most difficult. So I went ahead and um, we're going to work that out. It says sales tax is 6.5% and you spend $58.50. This is how much money will you spend on tax? Well, the reason I picked this one is because this percentage already has a decimal in it. So I got quite a few questions during class of, well, do I move this decimal that's already in it? Or do I simply just get rid of that percent sign and I've, I've done my job? Well, no, you haven't done your job because you still haven't changed your percent into a decimal. And by doing that, you have to do the Dr. Pepper method. That means moving twice to the left. That gives me a blank space. And in that blank space, I would write a zero and then a six and a five. Now I've successfully changed this percent into a decimal. I'm not finished. That is not a dollar amount. It's simply a decimal. What I have to do now is what I wrote up in the front, multiply. Always, always, always multiply. So I've changed the percent into a decimal. Now I'm multiplying. Well, what do I multiply by? Well, let's look. There's only one other number here in my problem, which makes it really easy. But technically, you would just take that original amount and multiply by that uh, tax. Let's see, do I want to do, I'm going to multiply as if I don't have any decimals. 5, 8, 5, and I could probably get rid of that 0, but most of you probably didn't. And then this would be like 65. After I multiply, I'll reintroduce my decimals into this work, and then we can go from there. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 is 42. Carry the 4. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. Now some of you stopped there, but we aren't finished. We've multiplied by the 5, but now we need to multiply by the 6. So you put your place value here, or placeholder, excuse me, and then multiply 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. Oh, my most unfavorite. 6 times 8, I believe that's 48. That makes 51, and then 6 times 5 is 30, plus 5, 35. So can you imagine if you had a lot of extra zeros? Like, well, you'd only have one. But trying to multiply by the whole number version, I think, makes it a little bit easier. We're adding. And I already know because this is a small percent, I am going to get a small or a smaller um, money value. Put these decimals back in. One goes there and one goes here with that zero. So one, two, three, four, five. Mm, did I do that right? Well, let's look. Let's see what makes sense because I'm confused. And you might be too, but let's see. If I have two numbers here and three numbers there, does it make sense to put one, two, three, four, five? Does it make sense that my decimal would belong right here? Well, let's look. I'm spending less than 10% on this tax. If this were my option, this answer would not make sense. $38. For taxes doesn't make any sense so I know that what I just did is actually correct so I do still need to make sure this looks like money that too says to keep that zero as it as it is so the amount of tax I spent was three dollars and eighty cents part B says how much money will you spend total total now means I'm taking my tax amount plus my original here I will line up decimals because I can't add decimals without lining them up. And remember, you have notes in your journal if you need help on remembering some of those rules. That's 13, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, did I do that right? 8. Yeah, I did. 
carry the 1, 8, and 9. That's 12. Six. Bring your decimal straight down. This is my total amount spent, which makes sense because it's just a little more than my original cost. I hope you enjoyed that freebie, and I hope you watched it. Tell your friends.